Yo, what's up guys? HB here. Welcome back to uh, Hearts of Iron 4 The Great War Redux mod. Um, so last episode we finished off with the Imperial Federation and won World War 1 as Britain after we joined the Central Powers and invaded France. But this time we're going to go for a different route. So we're going to take... We're going to be going towards a different nation. So we've already played this... Last time we played as the United Kingdom and proclaimed the Imperial Federation. Which was democratic for like a year, but then, uh, but then the government fell, and we got a king instead of a prime minister. Well, this time, what if we go for King George V's look-alike cousin, Nicholas II, um, Tsar of Russia, of course. Um, reason why I wanted to play as the Russian Empire because he got an interest. I looked at a. Remember when we looked at their focus tree? It was a bit interesting, but it's also because they're a bit of a fairly bigger nation, and also because. Uh, who knows, I probably would want to try and avert the Russian Revolution from happening. So, but however, I will let the AI, like, establish its, uh, templates, like before. So, let's go back to the, uh, playthrough thing we had, um, this time, I'm gonna switch. I'm going to, um, go default, and then, um... And we'll go, and Britain can go democratic historical. And that's pretty much it. Also, we'll turn off a historical AI focuses more on, on so that way, so that way we can uh, get a little bit of craziness into the thing. Um. Anyway, for Brazil, um. We'll leave them to go monarchists. Um, Bulgaria will go. Mm. Uh. Um, for the third, and uh, this time we're going to have Germany change course. So, this time we're going to have Austria-Hungary autonomize, and Germany will contain the Kaiser. So, let's begin the Great War playthrough number two. Okay, no, we're going to keep it historical AI focuses on. Because we could be having different scenarios, or not. I don't know. No, well, if you guys now, I'm thinking about doing another let's react. Um, yeah, I'm thinking about doing another let's react tonight as well. Because, um, it's gonna be like a solo Let's React episode, though, because, um... Yeah, it's actually mainly just because, like, I... For one. However, again, like, just like my Anatomy Insanity, um, reaction video, I'm gonna be reacting to it alone. But if you don't know what my next Let's React episode is going to be, it's going to be, um... It's going to... Now, you remember, remember on Flyspot's live stream, um... I... I was asleep during the first few hours of the thing. But, um, I'm thinking about... And the thing was that, like, they were reacting to another attempt at Exotic Assault, and... <laughs> I wasn't awake. I actually was asleep. Like, I was asleep, and everyone was paying me on Flysports server saying, Flysports live streaming, Flysports live streaming! And I didn't even know, because I was, obviously I was asleep. So, I ended up, um... You know, I'm just gonna... Just allow the AI to do their thing for me. So, I ended up being asleep for, like, nearly half of Flysports live stream. And this wasn't until, like... It wasn't until, like, after I woke up, I found out Flyspot was already live streaming without me. And it turns out he already did the, uh, reaction video without me. I was like... 
damn it, I believe my sleep schedule. So now, um, yeah, I basically ended up uh, having to wake up and, and just joining another random live stream. Not a reaction stream, unfortunately. Um, so, and, you know, I was originally going to join the stream just to react to his like assault for the first time, but again, I, I couldn't because uh, I was asleep. But I'm thinking that if you guys like, I am going. I will be react. After I finish recording this video, I'm gonna be reacting to another attempt at exotic assault, just so that you know. Nikolai Nikolovic Romanov. This is Nikolai Alexandrovic Romanov. There's two Nicholases. <laughs> anyway, um. Yeah, so, just so that we can, you know, just so I can keep up with the episodes and all that, um, and I'm pretty sure, like, there could be a chance that Flysport may be doing a, um, a, another Flysport React episode with his, with friends again. Probably including myself. It depends if I feel like it, but, um, yeah, basically, I'm gonna be reacting to another attempt at Zodic Assault. However, um, I won't be doing a Let's React on episode two because um, I'm probably gonna be I'm probably gonna be on Flysport Reacts depending if uh, but you know there's a vote vote going on right now uh, asking viewers if Flysport should react with just Lollipop or um, or with his squad the anime squad. Now, if I had to express my opinion about it, well. I'm not trying to force Flysport on anything, but I don't really see a good idea out of, um... I don't really see doing a reaction with another person. Well, with Lollipop only would be a good idea, because... Last time we had Lollipop, like, last time I was talking to Lollipop, she kept, she kept, I think she kept on, like, disconnecting and was having internet connection problems. So, I wouldn't be surprised if that happened during Flyswap's, like, uh, Flyswap reacts. Like, Flyswap just can't, like, I mean, Lollipop can't seem to keep... Hold. And also, Flyspot mostly have, like, internet connection problems. I'm the one that has to... And by the way, I am going to record on my screen as well. Like, I'm going to record my view because it's it's just in case, like, you know... Oh, god damn it. It's, it's just in case, like, you know, um, Flyspot's screen is laggy. So, yeah, that's why there won't be another Let's React out of uh, Azotic Assault. But I will react to Azotic Assault after I finish recording this video. So, um, stay tuned for that. Um... Now, obviously the voting already ended, so... Pfft, there's not really point of me voting. So... Yeah. But, just to ensure that, um, you know, I can... Just to make sure I catch up, I'm gonna... Re react to, um... I'm gonna react to, um, you know... I'm gonna react to another turn of exotic assault alone. If I if I if somehow Flyspot does decide to just react to it alone with um, Lollipop the cutie, or Lollipop the cat girl, she's called now. What a honestly Lollipop having that name makes her a weeb. N no offense to you, Lollipop, but that name just makes you sound like a weeb. <laughs> uh, in case you guys are wondering, no, I do not just taste weebs. I just find it funny. Uh, just can you the offensive? Anyway, so... Yeah, that's why I decided... So that... Uh, but yeah. So if Flyspot does decide to just react with Lollipop the Cutie only... Then, um... Then I might do a Let's React on the second second episode with, um, the squad. Because, you know, we don't want to feel... I don't like feeling left out, but, you know... If we... Like... Basically, it's almost like Let's React is basically like a backup reaction series where if Flyspot's reacting to, uh, you know, things alone, like another episode of Object Overload by himself, who knows? I, if you guys like, maybe maybe one day I'll probably, like, yeah, maybe one day I'll react to um, Object Overload. Not by myself, but like... I could react. I could do a. I could do a let's react on um. On as on, uh, object overload with the squad, if they've already saw it. But it'll be good to like you know catch up and stuff like. Uh, well, actually, if you guys like um. 
because I because I don't actually react to much object shows, um, and because I have I've really ran out of ideas on what I can do a less react on. So technically, I'm gonna have to, but I will. However, um, oh yeah, by the way, I forgot one thing. Um, if anyone likes, one day. If um if Glitch Tale comes out, the new episode of Glitch Tale comes out, I might and I mean I might do a let's react on Glitch Tale. That's only a depend that only depends. Like, will I do a let's react on Glitch Tale? Who knows? Because I'm I again, it's basically my option. I, like you know, there could be some copyright music. I do not want to get copyright claimed or copyright striked. But um, you know, if you guys like, I'll probably. I'll probably react with, um, you know, I might react with Spiral, Awesome, uh, TRG and all that, you know, on for, um, for, you know, um, for, ah, uh, I can't really, I can't really, like, talk, talk to myself properly, I'm focusing on this at the same time. If you guys like, um, I might do a, um, obviously the collab, let's react. On Glitch Tale. Anyway, so if you guys like, um, I'll do. Um, but anyway, I anyway I will do a let's react on uh, an, another attempt at exotic assault, just so we can, just so I can catch up on things that happened in the series. Like I don't want to end up not knowing about what happened. Order eight. Sorry. Oh yeah, I gotta. Mirna. Внимание. Um. Готов. Yeah, that's pretty much it. All I'm gonna say about that is other than um, if you guys like, I'll I'll do a I'll do a re reaction video on another attempt of exotic assault by myself first, and then um, because obviously the squad already reacted to it because while I was asleep. So, just so I can catch up. But the second, the second episode reaction, uh, that depends. Okay, that depends on Fly if uh, that depends if Flyspot does decide to react to it with only Lollipop the cutie. I mean, Lollipop the cat girl. I'm just gonna refer to her as Lollipop the cutie actually, because Lollipop literally used to be called that. So. <laughs> but, but you know, if Flyspot does decide to do, it, if does decide to change his mind to say I'll do it with friends instead, then uh, there won't be a let's react out of um, there won't be a let's react episode on another Tempo Exotic Assault episode two because obviously, like you know, last time I tried to record um, Flyspot's screen on my Bandicam, it was lagging pretty badly. Same result for BFB thirty, like. Oh, the quality of it was terrible, and I had to keep on disconnecting, and I had to put a freaking... Oh, you know what, the next time I... F next time, if I do do a Let's React and Flyswat React crossover with Flyswat, then, um... Who knows? I may or may not end up having to freaking... I don't know. Well, I don't really know anymore. Oh, here we go. Ah, oh, the German Confederation now exists. A. Hey. Alright, we're just gonna... All we're doing is we're just gonna do some striking. We're gonna draft the Constitution. A hey, up. Oh, God. Alright, let's see.
Self-determination of nations. Well, anyway. So, yeah. I'm not gonna... I'm not really going to... Again. The last reactor episodes will only depend if I feel like it, or if I want to, or whatever. But, again, it's... It's just... It's like Assault's n not going to be that much of a Let's React. It's just going to be, um, you know, just... It's just going to be one of those, like, normal reactions. Like, you know, one of those boring ones. <laughs> no, I did say, like, a few likes and I'll do a Let's React on, um, you know... Other things, but I changed my mind. Um, I did change. Um, I did decide to change my mind, and uh, you know. But again, the option's still there if I want to. Okay. 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 So Portugal has Portuguese have cooed. They were well. Republic has cooed. Monarchy. Which it wouldn't matter because there's, be, there's gonna be another Portuguese style monarchy like on the rise in a certain um, South American country, which I hope doesn't actually do that same thing. Mm -hmm. We need to raid on Marxist printing houses. Okay, so we're just stuck in a, I just realized we're stuck in an absolute monarchy. Okay, that guy's dead.
Actually, can I just kick um Nicholas second out of power? Okay, so Mexico has just become the Mexican Federation once again. Hello, Mexico Federation. But anyway, so yeah. That's why I... Okay, I'm just gonna see if I can do the liberation. Wait, hold on. What is war for independence? Um... Self-determination of nations, um, so if I do self, ah, uh, okay, so it's that, well, time to do restification, anyway, so, yeah, so, again, let's react on another attempt at exotic assault will happen later today. Like, I don't care about spoilers, but, you know, it's just so that people understand that I do catch up. Just, it's just to make sure I do catch up on things. And then just see what happens. Oh yeah, I need to work on a strategy on defeating the Germans. Because right now we're led by an absolute monarchy that is an attempt autocrat, which means war support is good, political advisor support is good. Most of the supporter crap is good, but it's, um, the ideology. We need to be careful of Viktor Chernov. Yeah, Viktor Chernov. Um, then we got the Soyuz 17 October, which is the union of October 17th. How I know is because, uh, bruh. Uh, um, and the House of Romanov. Now, first things first, let's uh, see the ideology. So we've already got neutrality. We've already seen what the communist one looks like. It's uh, basically... It's basically just... It's basically the Russian em Oh, okay, they changed it this time. Before it used to be just the Soviet Empire, but now they changed it to the Russian People's Republic. Huh. Wait, does that mean um, if I go to my party? Doesn't that mean... Ah, uh, no, we still be Russian Empire. So if we go fascist, which is Stavaka. Stavka. I don't know how you pronounce that correctly. It's led by this random guy, and it looks like Red Flood stuff. <coughs> so we're gonna go back to neutrality. Um... So mainly, the only thing that changes is communism, which is just the Russian People's Republic. Or the People's Republic of Russia, for some reason. <laughs> Lamau. God. Iron Day. Okay, I'm back.
Anyway, so... I'm just gonna do my usuals. So we're basically putting ourselves at risk of a revolution. Now, only two, one or two things can happen. We elect a provisional government, which would then we can just go ahead and do the presidential elections. Which will be in the Russian Republic, or we go with. Or continue being the Empire. Which will allow the Russian Empire to thrive. my usual cheat and we'll get some weekly stability we're going to do some anti-socialist raid ban socialism all together and that's pretty much it for me um do some military parades because i like doing military parades dun 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 Just gonna get your productions. We need to upgrade, we need better manpower. That's all we need. Now, obviously we don't want this guy to... We don't want this guy in because he, what he's going to do is he's going to end up becoming more and more like we're gonna have to get a constitutionalist republic government we also need to do something with our spy agency which we already did um factory conversion cost um we're gonna do some political power gains just so we can gain some political power we're gonna then sit What? Oh crap, our stability is very, very low. Which is... I'm just gonna... Yeah, fixed. We're just gonna do focus autocomplete it because... You know, if I hadn't just wasted all that stability, I could have actually finished that. Hmm. Now we need to upgrade our. Uh, now we need to uh, let the uh, Tobuski, um gain more control. In which we're gonna have to do more of these focuses. Soviet Russia does not exist. Um, military morale, um, Alexander Kochlak, 
will be in uh, Grand Duke Alexei. Just having a member of the royal family just like in the freaking military. Patrol Kastanov. Um, we're gonna have Mikhail Alexev. And we're gonna have. Uh, we're gonna have uh, Alexander Rusin. Shoot. We're gonna allow Alexander Rusin to be in charge. Okay, now our stability has gone up because right now Nicholas II is ruining the freaking stability crap. Ah! God, that does not feel so good. That is like the biggest blow to my economy. And, you know, to revert that, we're just gonna have to. Should we get a name? Damn it. Can't. Here we go. That's pretty much it. What my uh, forces are going to be called? Now, obviously, I guess that means we're going to have to leave the shifting up to uh, the Duma, which will mean that, uh, you know, 30 years of peace will do. 32% will be democratic. Um, we can go ahead and recruit somebody. Go to Alfred. Um, right now we need another Russian, so you come here. Welcome to the Russian. Go Welcome to the Russian government, known as the Imperial Special Chandelier, or the Alkana, I guess. We need to keep those promises of peace. We'll have our editor, for some reason. Because what I'm really trying to hope here is uh, the constitutionalist government. But, you know, with... Well, with support for the Romanovs basically going towards downfall, I don't know if, um... If I can, you know... Work that out. Although, I, again, I, I am good at cheating, so I could just cheat this. There. Now Democrats have something to record to. So, let's just, let's just go down this. And, of course, it's going to be 140 days, because my game likes to be a little bit boring. So, let's institute some press censorship. I just realized that just lowered my frickin' democracy. Damn it! Only by a bit, though. I'm just gonna put something. Uh. <laughs> yes. I just put an entire freaking thing of the fitness grunt pacer test in place with general chat. 
Okay, let's get back to what we're doing. So the constitutionalist government, that's what we need. Basically, we need, an, we need a constitutional monarchy. Which means handing more power to the Duma and preventing a possible Russian revolution. Which will mean the end of the Tsardom. Which will also mean the end of the bigness they have. Which also means federalization time. I'm just waiting for uh, Russia to finish off with the constitutional government, which they've already done last 70 days, so half of it's already done. Because the thing is that, they're like, After we go down the main path of uh, no Sovietization, then we're good. <laughs> we 
Okay, population supposed to. And you know they actually. Okay, obviously I'm going to do it again. And of course that means starting from day one. Or just cheat again. And here we go, we're now going to be known as the, Ru we're still known as the Russian Empire, but their flag changed. Now we're led by this guy named Mikhail. Um, <laughs> yeah, going down the centrist Duma is actually a good idea because basically that means uh, we can convene on the fifth state Duma. And of course, we just lost a few government officials, including Nicholas II himself. But it gives us the democratic reformer. I'm going to give uh, Nicholas Nikolovic a place. I've always seen like those scenes from like freaking TV shows where they like, tickle someone's feet with feathers. Which one, does it actually tickle? No, they freaking don't. How the hell are feathers like? How can feathers tickle you? It doesn't even freaking tickle you. They show you that on TV a lot, and they're like, and then some people are like, can you try in real life? Now that I tried it, it doesn't even- Okay, now my feet just feel weird. It literally feels like I just touched a f This will provoke a crisis. Yes, it will. Between the British and French, possibly. Anyway, so... Why is it lagging? Oh, Eletria has been uh, released. The Kingdom of Italy has rejoined the Central Powers. So, that means, yes, the Central Powers have gotten even more powerful again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, everything's... Austro-Hungary is still a thing, though. Oh, there we go. So now we've got Nicholas II on our, uh, thing. So now we don't have to worry about, um... Yeah, we don't have to worry about a revolution now. So, A up. Welcome to democracy, where we federalized our kingdom. We're gonna do pan-slavism. All the first Russian constitution, actually. Yeah, with with um with the Russian Empire democratic, we don't we can now think about world peace. It seems legit.
But wait until, um, like, in the future, like, the whole world just unites under one state. And then, like, then all of a sudden we find different planets and we just, and there's, like, different independent nations here. Once again, the Mona Lisa has just been stolen because some prick just walked away with it. But you know what? I would have done the same thing. No, no disrespect. Election of 1911, uh, the Russian Empire held democratic elections because he did everything possible so that the nation would not only survive in these difficult times but be able to succeed both economically and diplomatically. The election winner has already delivered a speech to his voters and is ready to accept duties as of the head of state. Congratulations to him. And it's Pavel Muralov. So, hey, actually, wait, didn't he get. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Hold up. He was a former member of the Russian state Duma. He died. Oh, he died in 1943. Well, I'm surprised Milukov has finally decided to. Uh... How did he die? That's what I'm wondering. Oh, Michael, Grand Duke Michael Alexandrovich de denied the uh, denied the throne. Well, if he accepted it, he probably would have restored his brother's empire and maybe would have preserved it a bit further. Maybe take the fight to the Germans again. But he decided not to, saying his family's time. I guess he's just was like, you know, our family time on the throne has lasted for too long. We should probably end it here. Or I guess he just wasn't ready, as well. Derek would love to be able to work and access his files from abroad. Sadly, he's not. Shoot. I just realized it's not sponsored. Damn it. Wait, I forgot I'm recording. Crap, sorry. I ended up. I just got distracted for a second. 
I'm easily distracted, just in case I go to the laundry room. Um. When I see a video that catches my eye, I should have watched it on my phone, not on my computer, because I keep forgetting screen recorders. Okay. Oh, okay. Um, the war time. Okay, I've just I've been mostly like quiet because basically I haven't really been talking most about drama and all that. There's not really that much drama going on. Okay, so this time once again they um
because these guys are going to protect the Qing Dynasty, but they can't because the Chinese Republic is about to screw them over pretty much. Though, I think for the first time, we're gonna actually going to try and see what will happen if, because usually it's through a decision, but I'm going to be quick for a second. Okay, so I got the young emperor to never surrender, so they're going to try and crush the rebellions. Dun 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 Oh, um, okay. Oh, here we go. This is gonna. I just. The animation Epic just uploaded something. Animation Epic will be going on a break for the next few months, but we'll be back before you know it. In the meantime, no new episode, no episodes will be released as we work on our larger projects, but you can expect a few side videos to come out every now and then. Okay, well, that means there'll be no, um, new, I guess there's no, there's not going to be a new, um, Let's React on, you know, on, um, yeah, there's not going to be a new Let's React on, uh, on Inhine and Sanity for quite a while, then. Because it looks like they're going to be on a bit of a summer break, which means that they're not going to be doing any Anamantati uh, episodes, which will mean that hiatus time. So, yeah, pretty much it. And, okay, the White Ottoman Empire is once again white peace with the Kingdom of Italy. Yeah, I got off. Oh, but this time it looks like, um, the Ottomans won. Okay, this is... This is actually interesting. This, this time the Ottomans have actually won. That's nice.
Oh, Titanic still sinks, like always. Um. Well, anyway, I think I'm gonna end this off tonight. Um, not really something new, just that's still I'm doing. I'm probably gonna take a break from Hearts of Iron for a while. And it looks like the Qing Empire has is still losing their war. So it does look like they might be getting a little bit of a comeback soon. It depends, though. It depends. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next episode. Sign out.